Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to alter the way that your text looks using Power Query. So I've got this spreadsheet here and I've got some data that I want to manipulate. Now prior to Power Query Microsoft brought out a feature called Flash Fill which was really good where you could in an adjacent column type in exactly what you wanted your text to look like so I don't want the last names to be all capital and as you start to type the second one it should work out the pattern now that's really good and it doesn't take a lot of knowledge just takes you typing but the disadvantage to that is if I add a new person to the bottom it doesn't then carry that facility on now prior to flash fill I would have used a formula to do that so Within Excel, there is a formula called proper, and I would have pointed it at the cell with their last name in, and it would have given me a version that is just capital first letter, the rest is lowercase. Now that takes a bit more knowledge, you need to know about that formula, you need to build the formula, but its advantage is you can add a new person and just bring the formula down, and it will work out what that person's proper version will be. The downside to that is though we're having to have two columns with pretty much the same data in so if you've got several bits of information that you want to clean you're ending up with all these additional columns that are a bit redundant you don't need two versions of all the things that you've cleaned. Okay. Power Query on the other hand will leave our original data as it is and it will make me a new data set with that clean version of data. The advantage to that will be when we get to the end you'll see I can add more people to the original data set and just by pressing refresh it will update the new data set without me having to do any further work. So to start the process if I go to the insert ribbon or even go to the data ribbon you will see there is a tables and range button in this area called get and transform. Now that will convert your data set into a table and you'll see when I press OK just for a real split second you'll see that happen in the background. But what will happen now is it opens Power Query. Now in Microsoft Word or in Outlook if you make a mistake where you type something in all in capitals you have a button that you can press on to change it from uppercase to lowercase and, and variations within there. Power Query has that same set of options. So for the last name I've got it selected. If I go to the transform ribbon and I now go to the text column area you'll see there is a format button. Now if I click on that you'll see I've got lowercase would make everything lowercase I've got uppercase would make everything capital as it already is. I've got capitalize each word which would just make the first letter of each individual word in the cell capital. I've got trim which would take away any spaces at the beginning or at the end of the cell. It won't take spaces away in the middle. So if you've got two words and there's a gap in between them it wouldn't take that space away. I've got clean which takes away non-printable characters I've even got the ability to add a prefix or a suffix. So if I use the capitalize each word option, it's now converted that column. And I could have highlighted both columns at the same time. So I'm going to click on first name. I'm going to do that one as well. Now, for the office location, I want to keep this original copy, but I want two versions of it that split out the extension number and the word at the end. So in order for me to do that I need to duplicate this column a couple of times because if I use the extract options I've got here it will physically change the current column. So just by right clicking I can duplicate the column. So I've done that once and I'm going to do that again. So I can now rename these two columns. So I'm going to call that one extension I'm going to call this one building. 
So to get this data set down to just the four numbers at the right hand end, I'm going to go into extract and I'm going to go for last characters. When I choose that option, you will see it gives me the ability to put the amount of characters that I want. So I want the last four. Now within that drop down, there was the other end, first characters, but I can't use that in this case to get the building word because each building, you know, is a different number of characters. Just to make you aware of all the options that you get in there though, you've got length where you can set a certain number of characters. You've got first number of characters, last number of characters, a range. So you can return a specific number of characters from each value in a column. You've got text before a delimiter, text after a delimiter, and text between delimiters. So the one for me is going to be the text before delimiter. Because each of my office locations has the building name before a hyphen. So I'm going to put a delimiter in of a hyphen. And again, I now get a version of the office location column with just the names of the buildings. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to home. I'm going to do close and load to. And just for ease, for demonstrating for you guys, I'm going to put the new version of this data starting in J3. So I'm going to do existing worksheet and click in J3. So as you'll see, I've now got a cleaned up version of their last name and first name. I've got the original office location column and I've now got that split out into an extension column and a building column as well. And the beauty of this is if I now put the caps lock on and I'm just typing a new row of data in, this could be pasting in a new set of data. Once I've put this information in, So I'm in HQ05, um, seven, seven, six, two. So once I put that data set in, just by going back to the new version that Power Query has made and refreshing it, you'll see it adds my new row of data in. And again, I've just added one row for quickness in the video. That could have been dozens and dozens of rows, even hundreds or thousands of rows from a new export from your system this month. Okay guys, I hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed it, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, can you subscribe and remember to press the notification bell because I plan to do two videos a week and by pressing the notification bell, you'll get notified when those videos land. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.